Oh my god. What's Bucci and Louie YouTube? It's your girl Chef Kid back at it again for episode nine. So this episode, I'm going to be taking us to the islands, okay? And I'm going to be making something inspired by not only one of my favorite cuisines, which is Jamaican cuisine, okay? It is also inspired by a few things I've been seeing, been seeing more plant-based items. And one of the plant-based items is the Jamaican beef patty. You dig? So of course your girl gonna be doing her own spin on it because this is my recipe. And you already know it's gonna smack. As you can see, Chef Kid then got bolted up. So we back in business, okay? Now, without further ado, let's get in this kitchen and get busy. <laughs> All right. So I gotta figure out a way to get these ingredients in. I'll do the just good old fashioned snap. One, two. All right. So we got the ingredients snapped up in this joint. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start from the front and work my way, or no, vice versa. So I'm going from the back and my way to the front. So what you see back here, I actually have more dough. Um, I'm gonna put the ingredients and the instructions on how to create this dough down below. It's really simple. It's just flour, Jamaican curry powder, and cold butter with a mix of vinegar, egg, one egg, and um, I believe water was the other thing. Mix it all together and you get these beautiful dough balls and make sure you put the dough in the refrigerator for an hour. I've already done that and I've already sectioned them off. Being that I do have more dough to work with, I just did not. Also, I believe I have enough meat that's not gonna be used in all of this. So yeah, but anyways, we got the meat and then we got the veggies chopped up. We got some bell peppers and onions. And then what else we have, which is the new surprise. So I've been working on which you can also tell the bottle's not full, but I've been testing and working on this. We got some jam and jerk. I'm gonna do a close-up shot of this, but it is my own blend of seasoning for this dish. So we got the jam and jerk seasoning. And of course, Chef Kid's making sure she gets this recipe right. So that way you guys can eventually have it in your hands and y'all can make this happen yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the big old high five, get this hot pan in and get this going. Let's get it. All right. So I had the water running, but we got the pan percolating. I'm about to put a little bit of oil in that joint. So what I'm about to do is I'm gonna add the onions first. I know they're both on the plate, but I'm gonna add those first. Of course the hands be clean, the hands be clean but this is gonna get nice and translucent in this oil. You know what I'm saying? So the thing about this recipe, I, it's so simple, really and truly. It's one of those simple recipes. Actually, in reality, you can mess up a lot of recipes. As simple as grilled cheese, as simple as pouring milk in a bowl with some cereal or something. You know what I'm saying? But we are not worried about messing up this go round. <laughs> we learned that from last episode. But got the onions cooking. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. And as you can tell, I'm beginning to amp it up on the channel with my own seasoning. I'm working on getting the actual logo and the whole everything together. But this is my blend of jerk seasoning. Insert the clip here, getting the nice close-ups. 
of that so you can see it but it's really nice it's really fragrant and it's kind of got that like that jamaican jumping like scent when you eat the cuisine from there i've never been always wanted to go but i love the food from there i love the curries the roadies the beef patties when i was a meat eater i was a big fan of the beef patty remember being younger my dad taking me when he used to have locks going to get his locks twisted going to take me to the reggae hut in houston y'all know what it is they had the and i know they're still around but um when i was younger they have always had those beef patties and i would always get a grape soda it just went together and the grape soda wasn't like the little cans or whatever it was in the glass bottles so your girl was getting getting that quality quality so now I'm about to put the bell peppers in. I got red, orange. I know y'all probably be like, really, Chef Kid? You always saying orange. My people from Louisiana, okay? But it sounds the same to me. I know what you're saying. If you say orange, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, love. So, as y'all can see, those are getting nice and together. I personally like my veggies a little more chunky, but that's just me. You can always get a food processor to chop it up even more. The podcast that I recently, or not that long ago, went and guest on finally has released. So go check out Mama's Boys on Apple Podcasts and Spotify Podcasts. They have released it and... It's just us chopping it up about our past work life and, you know, just random things. And you kind of get to see my crazy personality that doesn't get shown on the channel, right? So now that that's going, I had to transfer this to a pot. Oh, I'm going to put this ground meat in here. And it is fake ground meat. So... The running joke is I would always have like things that I guess look like chicken. So they'll be like, she's eating chicken or whatever. That was our running joke in my past job. And with my friends was the insider. So this is not real meat. It is fake meat, it is fake beef. But like I said, you know how the recipes go. Feel free to do your thing, do your thing. And of course, I've seen so many people do different variations of these Jamaican beef patties. But I would say you can always use the fake meat. You know what products is out there as far as fake meat go. There's I normally, I'm not sponsored by any of these. So I'm just going to tell you what I've used or what I am using. But Beyond Meat, Dr. Prager's. And then there's Gardein. And then if you are super duper plant-based, which, hey, right on. I was gonna suggest chickpeas, but then I was like, if you want it to be more like, I guess, a ground beef kind of situation, lentils. But I freaking love chickpeas. So personally, I would say, put some chickpeas in that joint if you really trying to test the plant-based water gangsta, you know? I think it would be a situation worth your time so i'm kind of letting these get all together and of course you let it get brown in the pan but just keep in mind whenever we get the little dough balls in here and we get the fill in them and all of that stuff it is gonna get cooked some more your filling is gonna get cooked some more in the oven which i've already got preheating right now on 375 and that is how long all right that is how high I'm gonna keep it so that way, you know, the little beef patties can bake. They eat the love. <laughs> now, anywho, how are y'all doing, my loves? I hope everything is going peachy keen with you guys in your life. I've been having, I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys, Chef Kid's kind of been not in the best of spirits but of course it's some days i just be so like tired and kind of being like dang is all of my efforts towards this worth it and then i slap myself 
basically internally and be like girl get it together this is gonna be worth it all is gonna be well and people will love the food and get the message you know very peace positivity and eat good food that's the that's the motto on here that's the vibes of course i'm always trying to find new ways of upping my game on my businesses and things of that nature i'm also back in to my cmos business i finally had to go back to the drawing board get things right finally got set recipe finally got like said products and i think you guys are going to soon see the marketing creativity that i put behind it i think it it also is something that i'm very passionate about which is health um it's something that i've kind of i got passionate about it at like around 18 19 when i left high school i was basically i was overweight um and it was something that i was like dang i kind of gotta get that under control and of course you know high schooler going through puberty trying to figure out what kind of body i'm trying to have i went through the toxic period of trying to maintain something and I employ you, young women, don't do that. Young men, don't do that. Don't don't put yourself in a position where you're literally trying to do every and anything to get the weight off. Don't do that. Love you, love yourself. And yes, I know I was one of those people that's like, man, you can't tell me how to feel because you ain't like this. I promise this too shall pass. And you know what? It's not even about your outside, it's your inside. And let me just tell you, I know plenty of skinny, beautiful individuals that are super duper ugly inside. So let me just say, God don't like ugly and noisy, fond of pretty, okay? Something my grandma and mama <laughs> tell me or whatever. So just know that when I started this CMOS situation, it was from that point of view, as well as I have lost loved ones to cancer and other ailments and it got to a point where i'm like dang you know in the black community i'm pretty sure i'm just preaching to the choir on a few people of color like their community that there's not really an emphasis put on health it's like oh soul food is good for the soul it tastes good as hell but it's not good it's not it's not good at all it's it's one of those things that yeah it's um it tastes good don't get it twisted chef kibby uh, through the holidays i'm off my rails okay i'm gonna keep it true with you and of course i'm not pitch perfect i have my moments where i go off the deep end with my diet and stuff like that and that's neither here nor there but i feel like there are some times where we look and i've heard people tell me oh i couldn't do that i couldn't be a vegetarian you can you just choose it not to and that's totally kosher. That's totally fine. But don't bash someone, you know, for not choosing that life or wanting to change theirs. And that's something also I had to do with, with becoming a vegetarian. Once I got on my path of just wanting to be the best version of me and plus I want to do be the serial entrepreneur. How am I going to do that if my health ain't right? You know what I'm saying? So CMOS, I started learning about that and Dr. Sebi and all of the whole alkaline movement, everything. Now, be that as it may, I am not a alkaline vegan, but I do like to dabble in different cuisines. And that is one cuisine that Chef Kid actually enjoys. I do enjoy a good divine alkaline situation. And so it brought me to Sema. And that's when my original start with holistic used to be hood rat but now it is holistic homegirl apothecary uh when i started it up i literally didn't know what i was doing i was learning from different youtubers and dr sabi teachings and things of that nature about how cmos gel is made and how it works and that's when eventually it got to a point where i was like all right let me order it and do it myself I went, bought me a blender and started tapping in and started really just getting busy with CMOS. It was just CMOS and me. Made my sales, but of course things change and things happen where it's like, 
mm, the jars don't work out for me or people forget or people don't want to keep going onto the path because let me just make it very clear to you guys with CMOS you can't just be like oh I'm gonna take this one day and everything's gonna be all right that's with anything it's time and patience you have to just stay 10 toes down trust me I didn't see the benefits of CMOS in the first like couple of couple of days I was like what the heck I'm not seeing any of these things people are talking about but then like after that first week I was like okay my energy is increased I'm feeling a little more like energized or whatever than the next week. Okay, immune system's getting boosted. My joints ain't feeling as like tight or whatever. It's it's a time thing. So you just got to be patient. You can't be new to it. You got to be true to it. You did. So with this new CMOS approach that I am taking, you guys are getting a new way of taking them and some delicious flavors that I have yet really to see anybody do. And of course, I'm gonna be taking my whole business into a direction and we just gonna have fun with it. That's just how that's gonna go. And shout outs to Derek Grace. I've been learning a lot of marketing from him and how to do things. I'm in radical school, so there's that. But it's a big deal, like learning all of this stuff and applying it. And I'm finally able to apply it so we just gonna see what happens. All right, I've rambled enough. I'm gonna put a little salt in this joint. I'm using kosher salt. And now we gonna apply some of this jerk seasoning in this joint. Ooh. And I'm going to make this where if you have any like issues with salt, it's gonna be salt free. I'm gonna be making some of them with salt. Of course, like my Cajun mix and stuff like that is gonna have salt in it. But my Jamaican mix is not gonna have salt. It's gonna be one of those saltless bay. What is it? Wait, hold up. Actually, first let me sprinkle till my ancestors tell me stop with the clean hand. You already know what we about to do. <laughs> Woo, we're getting busy. That kid goofy, so. Ooh, if y'all could smell this. All right, so basically this filling is all done. I'm about to slide it to the side. I heard a knock at the door, so I gotta get that. But I'm about to slide it to the side and then we gonna tap into the rest of the business. You already know, I'll be right back. All right, so y'all, we back in this joint. We got the little dough balls and I've already cleaned the surface. I'm just rewiping it because I'm just the person that does that like 20 times. <laughs> but what you're gonna do is on a clean surface, you're going to get your ball of dough and you're going to smash that joint out into a round shape. And I would say maybe the size of a palm or bigger. Because what you gonna do, as you can see, boom, that's how big it is. So what you're gonna do is, oh my God, if y'all could smell these. I'm gonna show it to you twice on how to do it. And then I'm gonna high five us into the future, okay? But you're gonna get your filling and put it in that joint. And then you're gonna close it up like so. And then, boom, you got a patty. You got a beef patty. There you go. That's how they should look. Like I said, I'm gonna do it one more time. Put this one down. I'm gonna get the dough ball. And you're just gonna. Now, keep in mind the curry gets your hands yellow, okay? Because it's got turmeric in it. And you're gonna look like a little oompa, oompa, doobody. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey, my party people. I'm just playing. <laughs> Y'all know Chef Kid's a little crazy. So we're gonna do it one more time. Boom, put the filling in there. Like so, I'm gonna put just a tad bit more, just a little bit more. <laughs> and then you just fold that joint over. Boom. And uh, there it is. And this is not for my plant-based people. 
but I can put the substitution down below in the recipe so that way y'all will have you know the backup plan the keys to the city just in case you're trying to impress your friends on something more than a piece of toast okay and I ain't talking about the toast that you just scrape the burnt part off because we've all been there so I'm gonna fast forward us into the future with a big old high five y'all know how this go okay so we're back got these bad boys prepared filled did the little fork method to smush it down so now i'm about to pop them in the oven i got the time and the temp down below in the description and then i'm gonna high five us into the plating okay it's just gonna be that simple and then of course you gotta see chef kid put one of these bad boys down so here we go. We'll be right back. Kidding about to burn herself. No, sir. Hold up. Let me get a, a napkin before I have some malfunction happen. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh my God. Y'all. Y'all, y'all gotta try this. Y'all already know the house rules. Don't forget to like. Mm, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button and tell your friends about me. Because, God dog it, this is bussin'. Yeah, my this is bussin'. A little heat. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I could eat this for hours and hours. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Mm. Well, y'all get up out of Chef Kid's face and go cook this. Go tap in, please, please, please. You already know. Get in that kitchen and get busy. Oh yeah, and one more thing. If no one told you today, I love you. <laughs>